The word ichthys is Greek for fish. The symbol is portrayed as two simple arcs forming a fish-like body and tail, often with the word ichthys written inside of it. There is no definite reason as to why early Christians gravitated towards the symbol of the fish, but there are quite a few factors that made it a surprisingly fitting choice. As early as the first century, Christians were using the word ichthys as an acrostic to refer to Jesus. I, Jesus. C, Christus. T, Theo. Y, Ios. S, Soter. Meaning Jesus Christ, Son of God, Savior. In addition to this, the pronunciation of ichthys and Iosus Christus are somewhat similar, further strengthening the association between fish and Jesus. But the symbolism goes beyond just the sound and the letters of these words. In the New Testament, fish are mentioned several times, such as in the story of Jesus feeding 5,000 people with just two fishes and four loaves of bread. Christ also frequently calls his disciples the fishers of men, as their task was to fish out more followers from among the Jewish people. Water baptism was standard practice for early Christians and generally took place in rivers, which created another parallel between the followers of Christ and fishes. All these reasons make the fish an excellent symbolic choice. But there were also practical reasons for the early Christians to adopt such a symbol for their religion. For the first few centuries after Christ's crucifixion, Christians were persecuted across the Roman Empire. This forced the followers of Christ's teachings to hide their beliefs and to gather in secret. At the time, the fish symbol was quite common as it existed in other pagan religions, likely as a symbol of fertility. The early Christians could use the symbol relatively freely without arousing suspicion. Legend has it that Christians would mark the entrances of their gathering spaces with the fish symbol so that newcomers to the religion would know where to go. Christians on the road would also have a simple greeting ritual to confirm their religion to each other. One of the two strangers would draw the first arc of the ichthys nonchalantly as if just doodling in the sand. If the second stranger finished the symbol by drawing the other line, then the two would know that they were in safe company. Should the second stranger not finish the drawing, however, the first would pretend the Ark didn't mean anything and would avoid persecution by remaining silent about their faith. Christianity continued to grow despite the campaigns launched by Roman emperors against the new religion. Once the persecution ceased and Christianity turned into the main religion of the Western and Eastern Roman empires, Christians adopted the cross as their new religious symbol. The acceptance of the cross meant a few things for the ichthys fish. First, ichthys no longer needed to be used in secrecy as Christians no longer needed to hide. Secondly, the presence of a new symbol that was much more directly associated with Jesus Christ meant that the fish became a secondary symbol for the religion. The pagan feel of the fish also likely didn't help in comparison to the cross which was an entirely new symbol for Christianity. Granted, there had been other crosses like pagan symbols before the Christian cross, such as the Egyptian Ankh, but the fact that Jesus had been crucified on a Roman cross made it much more potent as Christianity's main symbol. During the 1970s, the ichthys had a resurgence as a symbol of modern Christianity. It became especially popular among Christians who wanted to be witnessed. Today you'll see the Jesus fish usually displayed as a bumper sticker to be as visible as possible. Some Christians frown at this use of the symbol and at its overall commercialization, but others view it as a sort of stamp of true Christians. What do you think is the most important symbol of Christianity? Let us know in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe as it helps our channel grow. Thanks for watching.